there's not a lot of traditional honey mushroom recipes out there. Well, there are, but honey mushrooms with sour cream is probably my favorite uh, besides just simple sauteed honey mushrooms. Important to note that all honey mushrooms must be thoroughly cooked. This recipe will do that, as will my simple sauteed honey mushrooms on my website. Uh, the first thing we're going to do for honey mushrooms with sour cream is we're going to melt a little bit of butter and we're going to cut the mushrooms into what will become bite-sized pieces. You can see there's plenty of butter there. Let that cook until it's all melted and hot. Add all the mushrooms. And now, as I said before, these are going to have extended cooking. We're going to cook these for a reasonably long time until they are all wilted and cooked down just to make sure that nobody gets an upset tummy is why uh, the honey mushrooms are actually banned at a lot of mycological society potlucks. But you can see the mushrooms are much darker. They've reduced in size by about half. That's after about 10 minutes. We're going to add a little bit of finely chopped, uh, finely diced shallot, and we're just going to stir and cook the shallot until it is just barely starting to get brown right around the edges. We're going to add a little pinch of flour. It's a very simple recipe, just honey mushrooms in a dill sour cream sauce. That's a little bit of brandy. Adds a really nice flavor. And we're going to cook that. It'll make kind of a, a thin little sauce. And after the brandy has cooked off, then we're going to add a little bit of chicken stock. And again, we're just simmering the mushrooms. We're just making sure that they're really thoroughly cooked here. Once the chicken stock is cooked, we're just going to simmer that a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of fresh dill, salt and pepper, and then the flour that we added is going to make it so that sour cream there does not break and curdle and become a really thin sauce. We, we want it really nice and thick and delicious. And it's fine to turn the heat off at this point. All you need to do is kind of heat everything through and this is what you should be left with. This mushrooms in a really thick, rich, delicious sauce. Really a perfect garnish for pierogi or on top of some buttered noodles, on top of a steak or a piece of fish, all kinds of things that you can do with it. The full recipe is on my website. There's a link in the top of the video description for that. Thanks for watching.